All right, now that our computers are upgraded to Windows 11, you may have noticed that you might be missing the Google Drive link so that you could access your files directly onto your computer. Really easy to fix that. So it should already be installed on your computer. If you go down to the Windows icon down here at the bottom and you click on it, and you click on the All Apps, you should be able to scroll down and find Google Drive. If it's not there, so somehow it's not already installed on your computer, all you need to do is when you go to that Windows icon, go to the company portal, go over to where it says apps on the left hand side, and if you just type drive in at the top and search, you'll be able to install it from there. But as you can see, mine already says installed, and yours probably will say that as well. So once you've gone to that icon, go to All Apps, scroll down to where it says Google Drive, and click on it. A window will pop up. Go ahead and click Get Started. You'll have to sign in to your school account. It'll pop up and just say, what do you, it'll kind of give you a little walk through. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit next. You can choose which files you wanna sync. I'm just gonna hit next. I'm not going to choose anything because I don't want anything to automatically sync. So I'm just gonna say skip. And you definitely just move on with this. You don't wanna sync any of your pictures or um, photos from your device. Maybe you do, but chances are you don't. Just go ahead and hit skip and then open drive. So if I go down to this little icon at the bottom, I'll see my drive icon right here. If I click on that, I will see that everything is up to date. But what you generally probably end up using this for is if I go to my folder icon, my Windows Explorer, now you will see Google Drive over here. And then it's really easy to go ahead and access your drive and find everything you need to find. So that's back to how things were before. So that's all you need to do. Basically, you just need to sign in, approve everything, and make sure that you have access. Then your drive will be up and running again.